quick video. I got a new permission. I'm already catching fish. This is not a big one. I have a, I've caught about a one pound bass and a little war mouth and now this guy. But this creek is beautiful. I know it looks a lot like some of the other creeks, but this one's about 15 miles from anywhere else that I fish. And uh, it's literally just outside of my work, like two miles. So it's just beautiful property. I've got 10 acres here. Well, I, they have 10 acres that I can just come fish the creek anytime I want. I done talked to the wife and the husband. He was out here working and they're really nice people. Sometimes all you gotta do if you want permission is to ask. Oh, look how nice this is. The water's pretty clear. There's actually a really nice sized bass hanging out right there. I should probably take this guy off the hook. I actually didn't plan on filming because I didn't ask if I could. Look at him, he's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take him off and see what else I catch. Alrighty, we got a nice bass here. I mean, nice for a little tiny creek. And these are not smallmouth, by the way, or largemouth. Um, I cannot remember the name. Stripe bet? No, not stripe. I can't remember the name, but see their mouth? Oh, no, that's largemouth. No? See, their mouths aren't as large as a largemouth, but they're not a smallmouth. And I can't remember the name of them right now. Um, but I incorrectly identified it as a smallmouth in one video because it's what I thought it was. But it's a, I think it's just like a black bass, but I can't think of the exact name. It's not a rock bass. Maybe it is rock bass. I don't remember. Come out of there. Hook is not wanting to come out. I got him good. But yeah, for a little tiny creek. You know, I think he might actually be legal size. I'm not sure. I gotta look that up. But man, look how fat it is, though. I think they're pregnant. I think they're spawning. I found another little deep hole down here. I was actually gonna leave, and then I started wandering. <laughs> oh, it's just—it's beautiful, you know. I mean, there's just this—it's like a mountain stream almost. Ah. All right, guys. Well, if I catch anything else big, you'll see it. If not, have a good day, and we'll see you later. So it had been like five seconds and I already got another one. I mean, I'm using a little black and chartreuse beetle spin. And this place is just producing like great little bass. He's not a keeper, but he's still fun to catch. <laughs> oh, I literally just got off work. I'm still in a work shirt. <laughs> this is awesome. So, yeah. We'll do a walkout video. Why not? I don't know what part of the video this will be. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. We'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, what a beautiful day. Look at this creek, the sun's going down. Have you ever seen a more perfect sunset? Ah, oh, so there's this actually really weird, pretty, to, there's a really ugly swamp over here, but I bet it's full of beautiful frogs. And right now is mushroom season, by the way. The wild mushrooms are growing and they're delicious. Now I heard the property owner on his little side-by-side -side vehicle so I don't know if he's coming down here or what, but uh, really nice people, very nice. And they told me I was welcome to come down anytime I wanted. Just what wonderful people. Look at this, it's just a beautiful day. Oh, we can still got a peep of the sun. There's my truck up at the road. They already have trails cut too, that's really nice. I hate bushwhacking through weeds and stuff. Oh property owners out. I gotta go. Okay, he took off. I don't know if he... I don't know. Whatever. I wasn't worried about recording or being out here. I just don't want to put them on camera. Some people are like that, and I fully, fully respect that. And like I said, I don't really want people knowing where I'm at. <laughs> so, we're gonna... I'm gonna head up and do some more fishing up here and we're gonna have a good time well i'm gonna have a good time i'm gonna end the video though so you guys will have to wait till next time unless something super exciting happens like i find some mushrooms or i did see some fiddleheads they're growing right now and they're good to eat so yeah Alrighty, i am back to the road back to my truck so we'll see you guys next time till then be curious, go adventure, have some fun.
See you next time. Okay guys, I said I was going to continue fishing and this nice little, little deep pole would be great. I broke the button to my reel. So I took it apart because it wasn't working and uh, I snapped it. I don't even know if I can fix that. So it's just a little piece of plastic. There it is. See that little piece there, that tab? Snapped it clean off. Crap. Okay, well, my day's over. See you next time.